Hi guys, good day. So for today, uh, ituloy natin yung ma challenge playlist natin for grade 10. So, uh, bali, didiscuss natin yung some of the problems for the ma challenge in preparation for the upcoming ma challenge uh, on uh, January 2020, mga lodi. So, preparation, advanced preparation to. So, first problem. So, sagot tayo ng apat hanggang limang problems. So, number one, a group with 20 members plans to elect a president, a vice president, and a secretary. If each member is eligible for each position, in how many ways can the group choose their officer? So, meron ka 20 members, and you will select a president, a vice president, and secretary. So, normally, ito is a sample of per an example of permutation. Pero kung nahihirapan kang gamitin yung permutation, pwede kang gumamit ng fundamental counting principle in which titingnan mo ilan ba yung pipiliin mo, tatlo? So, gawa ka ng tatlong box, mga lodi. So, meron tayong tatlong box. Ilan yung pwedeng maging president? 20. Ilan yung pwedeng maging vice? That's 19. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng na yung president, siya rin yung vice president. Mga lodi, bida-bida na yun. So, magiging president, ilan na lang pwede sa vice president? 19. Sa secretary, 18 na lang. Then, multiply natin. So, that is 20 times 19. That's 380. Multiplied by 18. So, that is 6,840 ways. Okay? Number 2. In how many ways can the letters of the word island be arranged? So, meron daw tayong word na island, mga lodi, such that the vowels are always together. So, madali lang yan. So, you just need to, li you just need to list ano yung mga vowels, ano yung mga consonants. So, yung mga vowels natin are I and A. Ano yung mga consonants? S, L, N, D. Eh, di ba anong sinabi? The vowels are together. So, ang technique natin dyan, kung ano yung together, consider natin siya as one. So, this is one group na. One, two, three, four, five. So, that is equal to five factorial multiplied by two factorial. Bakit may two factorial, sir, IJ? Kasi yung I and A, pwede mo siyang gawing IA, pwede mo siyang gawing AI, kasi magkatabi pa rin naman siya. Okay? Tapos, wala naman tayong letters na naulit, kaya direct yung five factorial lang. So, that is equal to 120, that's 240 ways. Okay? So, next problem, number 3. For problem number 3, a fair coin is tossed 5 times. So, for number 3, meron do tayong coin na 5, five times. Tinos. So, ang hinahanap, what is the probability of getting exactly 3 heads? Exactly three heads. Okay? So, alam naman natin na ang isang coin has two faces, mga lodi, di ba? Therefore, ang ibig sabihin niyan, yung pinaka-sample space natin, that is equal to 2 raised to 5. Pero, paano natin kukunin yung pinaka-ano natin, yung pinaka-taas natin? Ilan ba yung mga possible outcome in such a way na tatlo lang yung heads? So, ang gagawin mo lang dyan, pwede mo ilista, kaya lang, medyo matagal kasi, paano kung sobrang daming best itos? So, ang pinaka-technique dyan, mga lodi, dun sa lima, pipili ka ng tatlong heads, that is an example of combination. So, yung taas mo, 5C3. Ulitin ko, ito is 2 to the 5th kasi, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's the number of faces. Tapos yung 5C3, exactly 3 heads. 5C3, that is 10 over 32. Therefore, the answer for this is 5 over 16. Okay? Next, number 4. So, number 4 natin is, ito yung tanong. It is found that a hect for it is found that if a hectare of land is planted with 40 is planted with 42 mango trees the annual yield of each tree will be 480 mangoes. Okay, for every additional tree planted, so meron daw 42 mango trees mga lodi. Tapos meron kang yield na 480 mangoes. So it will yield to 480 mangoes. Okay? So anong sinabi? For every additional tree planted, so ito yung trees natin mga lodi, ah, this, these are the trees. So for every additional tree planted, uh, the yield per tree will decrease by 8 mangoes. Ang hinahanap, how many trees should be planted to this hectare to the, of land to maximize the annual yield? So ang gagawin kasi yan mga lodi, i-maximize natin yung annual yield. Paano ba kinakuha yung annual yield? So, that is equal to the number of trees multiplied by the number of mangoes that each tree will produce. So, anong sinabi? For every, let's say P of X is the annual yield. 
So, P of X equals, for every mango tree planted, so that's 42 plus X, let's say that is the number of mango trees, times, ano sinabi, 8 mangoes will be, uh, sorry, the yield per tree will decrease by 8 mangoes. So, that is 480 minus 8X. Ulitin ko, bakit ang ganyan na? For every additional tree planted, the yield per tree will decrease by 8 mangoes. So, 480 minus 8x. Tapos, ano yung nahanap? How many trees should be planted to this sector of land to maximize the annual yield? Ilan dapat daw yung trees para maging maximum yung annual yield? So, ano gagawin natin dyan? So, brain muna natin itong mga load, yeah? So, ang gagawin kasi natin dyan is ganito. So, multiply natin yan. So, that is equal to P of x equal. So, ito mumultiply natin. So, ilan yung 42 multiplied by 480? So, that is 45, um, 20,160 20, uh, plus, this is 480x. This is um, 42 times 8, that is um, 336 me negative. 480 minus 336 mga lodi, ilan yun? That is um, 144x positive minus 8x squared. Diba? Kasi x times negative. Paano natin malalaman yung number of uh, trees na kailangan i-plant to maximize? That is na yung B natin. Naalala nyo, eh, sorry, that is the H. Alala nyo yung HK sa quadratic. So, yun yung H natin. So, H is equal to negative B over 2A. So, paano natin kukumpit? Negative B, ito yung B natin. Negative 1, 4, 4 over 2 times A, that is negative 8. Pag kinompute, that is 9. Yan na ba yung sagot, Sir IJ? Hindi pa. Kasi ang kailangan natin malaman, ilan ba yung tree na kailangan niyang i-plant? That is ito po. 42 plus X. Ano yung X natin? 9. Therefore, the total number of trees should be 42 plus 9, that is equal to 51 trees. Ganun lang siya mga Lodi. O kaya, meron tayong shortcut na ituturo, mga idol. Natuntandaan natin yung ano, 51 trees na sagot, ha? Okay, so may shortcut ay turo. Ganito yung approach na isa ko dyan. So, kung naalala nyo yung binigay ko, ba? Ginawa natin uh, vertex. P of X equals 42 plus X multiplied by 480 minus 8X. So, ang technique ko dyan, ganito. Kukunin ko yung roots. Ano roots nito mga lodi? Negative 42, tsaka 480 divided 8, that is 60. Ano next na gagawin ko? Kunin ko yung average. Tandaan natin, average lang siya. Bakit average sir IJ? Kasi yung average, yun yung axis of symmetry natin. It divides the parabola into two congruent regions. Kaya average lang natin yung roots. That is negative 42 plus 60 all over 2. That is equal to 18 over 2. That's 9. Then i-add mo na lang. 42 plus 9, that is equal to 51. So, yun guys, just in case mayroon kayong questions or clarifications, okay, may mag-comment sa comment section mga Lodi. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. God bless us all. Bye-bye.